Hey guys, Greg C96 here coming at you with the what month is it again? MHC underscore 2018 underscore FEB. So the February 2018 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge player update video. As you can see, except the camera won't focus on this, but you can probably see the gray lines going by. I've got quite a few notes for this episode. Um, let me preface this though first with if I have missed you and this player update, it's nothing personal. I'm human. I make mistakes. I probably missed it because, you know, YouTube search is terrible. I think I have everyone. If you notice I've missed you, or if you've noticed that I've missed someone else, go ahead and just leave it in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the update video. Um, these are in no particular order, just the order that I watched them in. So, uh, first up, we got the team of Dadcraft73, Pigglesworth, and Loy XP. Um, they set the plan early on in their episode. Um, so their plan was basically that for the first couple of days anyways, uh, one person would hunt for, for Enderman above during the night, and the other two would mine. Uh, so Loy ended up being a person who... <sighs> Words are hard. Can't even read my own damn words, apparently. Uh, Zloy ended up being the guy that split up to hunt by night. Um, they discussed how sunflowers should probably have sunflower seeds in Minecraft and be an edible item. Um, discussed about barn raised chickens versus wild raised chickens versus farmed chickens. Um, built a shield, discussed Enderman rear ends. I don't remember what the hell that note even means. Uh, Pigglesworth found diamonds towards the end of episode one, and towards the end of episode one, Zoli had some connection issues. Um, next up, we got Clan Half Dude, who made a wooden axe and a wooden sword, which has been a concept I've never understood because, you know, wooden tools are just about barely better than your fist. Um, but he did. Made them feel good, I guess. I don't know. Um, found a cave, planted seeds, went underground for the night, heard a witch, which um, was interesting, at least to me, because I didn't see any witches like anywhere near spawn for anyone else. Um, he mined at night. Next up, we got Captain Hook 5150, aka Tim Obert, who lacks confidence in his ability to survive the challenge since he has not played in a while, uh, since like early December. He tricked a zombie into seeing the light of day early on in the episode. Uh, he live-streamed at the beginning, that should have probably been the first note, but that's okay. Did his stairs trick like always, and heard like a really weird sound effect while he was down in the cave. It was like radio static, and that was a little bit of a weird one because I'd never heard that sound effect before. Um, I don't know if anyone else has either. Because that's, yeah, it's just a weird sound effect. It was like radio static, kind of. It was weird. Maybe his game was hacked. Maybe he has Harrowbrine. Um, next up, we got Bad Senator, who discussed his game plan on getting to the Nether, recounted his back luck, bad luck in the last, or er, in the Nether last challenge, so January. Ooh, excuse me. Um, discussed a special Grand Mugs Day video he's going to be posting. He made an anti-enderman hut, which is basically just a two-block high thing. He gave himself full protection from mobs while he went fishing. And he killed a squid with his mob hut, which, you know, that's just cruel and heartless. What did that squid ever do to you? <laughs> Next up, we got Baker Bell. Um, she's open to pillar to village. Um, she was getting adventurous and traveling treetop to treetop. Uh, she found a desert village. Um, harvested the wheat and potatoes. Um, no library in the village, which she was upset by. Um, <laughs> oh, haha, I should have looked back at my notes. Uh, she was running around at night and went monster hunting like it was, and then my note just is HTML tag for insert month. Um, because I don't remember which month the Monster Hunter Challenge was, but that's what it reminded me of. Um, she started on hunting. Sorry, I'm so tired. Uh, started on Enderman hunting right away, and her first Ender Pearl came at the very end of the day, but that was the first Ender Pearl that I had seen anyone collecting. Uh, next up, we got two Mere Mortals plus one this month uh, Keelan, Wife of Keelan, and Happy Bandit 360. This was their second attempt at day one of the challenge. They went mining, shared a couple of fun stories, uh, found a ravine. Uh, Wife of Keelan 
almost got skellied again in the first episode down in that ravine. Um, next up, we got John File 92. Um, he wants a village with a cleric for trading for Ender Pearls, which is very smart as opposed to trying to fight the Endermen to get all the pearls you're going to need. Um, he's going for the Mushroom Stew Strat. Um, did a lot of boating and running. He found a desert temple with like five golden apples. Found a second desert temple. Uh, made a shield. Found some lava, which is wildly important for getting to the nether. Um, did much mining and found lots and lots of gold. Next up we got MP plays and jungle all the way. Um, it's not in hardcore mode because they did it in realms, so it's kind of cheaty, but whatever. It's not the worst thing that happened in this month's challenge by far. Um, I learned from their episode that you can apparently put two people in boats. I did not know boats had the ability to fit two people. The more you know. Um, found mushrooms in a roof forest. Um, they made way too many bowls. He made like 16 bowls and filled them all with mushroom stew. Which like defeats the purpose of mushroom stew. At least in my mind because the whole idea with mushroom stew is like you just put it in three stacks instead of filling up a whole bunch of your inventory. Call me crazy but <laughs> whatever. So yeah they made like 16 bowls. Now I'm spending the night on the roof of the forest fought through the night and kept running and they found a desert village with a cleric so John Fall might want to take a look at that if he hasn't gone too far in his challenge uh, next up we got Java Dad um, he got saplings and started moving right away, went caving he went in with no plans and no self imposed challenge which is weird for him he usually gives himself an additional challenge on top of the MHC challenge so um, yeah it was kind of weird that he just went in with the uh, vanilla challenge this month Got iron and found a spider dungeon. <laughs> Next up, we got Max Ryder and Scotty Garbitas. You'll notice there's a trend of a lot of people doing team challenges this month, which is awesome. Because <laughs> it means, you know, not quite as many videos to watch. Um, so I believe I watched Max Ryder's um, perspective on this one. Um, they were having some Discord noises in the video that they didn't like mute before recording so it was messing with me as I was watching and I kept thinking I was getting discord messages um again another team that made wooden axes I don't understand it it's like just barely better than your fist why waste the resources um they were discussing some role playing uh stuff they found a temple and made the temple their starting base I believe if memory serves me it was a desert temple next up we have a very large team OG Games, Mr. Scalen, uh, Technoscribe, Mama Miners, aka Momo, uh, Jade LF, Frank and Honest, and Chaotic Racer. Um, yeah, I did not watch all of the perspectives of that. Just, no. <laughs> so for this one, I watched OG's perspective. Um, at the beginning, they did a much better job of staying together than the group I was playing with did because, uh, you know, they're somewhat competent. <laughs> Um, they lots of laughter, having a good time, which is what it's really all about anyways. Um, they're trying to get to Desert Village and made it. They spent the night... Uh, they spent the night split up. A group of them went hunting for monsters, specifically Endermen, and another group of them mined. They found iron, which is cool. Uh, next up, got Grandma's Gone Gaming. So this was Grandma's Gone Gaming's uh, second attempt. Um... She did some mining, she made quite a bit of good moving process, um, got iron, and she, uh, she cleared out a lot of space underground doing some serious resource collecting. Uh, next up, we've got Pine Leaf Needles. Ooh. God, I'm sorry with all the yawning, guys. Jesus Christ. Um, made full wooden tools. Again, I, I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, got seeds, went mining, got iron, and as soon as he ends the episode, he starts breaking out back into the real world, and he's got a creeper there waiting for him. Leaves us on a bit of a cliffhanger. We will see how it goes in the next episode. Um, next up, Dragon Feathers. <laughs> oh boy, I was in a great place when I was watching this one. Um, I can tell because my very first comment here is a flock of seagulls, quote, or 
flock of seagulls reference. <laughs> uh, she ran, she ran so far away, she made quite a lot of progress. Uh, mined at night, found a cave, and throughout the episode was discussing her experience of changing over to OBS. And last but not least, and I'm sure there's more that I missed because, you know, discussed it at the beginning of the episode. Um, the team of Emma Karn, Lylan 2, DJ Paul to Jed, and myself. Um, their spawn seems to look a lot different than everyone else's spawn. Seems like Emmy might have screwed up the server. So, uh, looks like, spoiler alert, they might have themselves a different challenge this time around. Um, the a-hole of the group, myself, ran away without the rest of the team pretty much right off the bat. Um, we were split up entirely by, like, the five-minute mark of the video. Um, I watched Emma Karn's perspective on this one, um, because, again, I'm not watching, like, all four videos. Um, I mean, is no mountain goat. He struggled hard to get across the top of the mountain, and he ran throughout the night fighting everything that came at him while the rest of the team smartly mined by night. Um, and he defended himself throughout the night with a sapling because he never got around to making any sort of tools. And you know, a sapling is about as effective as a wooden sword, so... <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, that is the player update one for MHC underscore 2018 underscore FEB. Um, the updates will be as follows. This is the first one next week, hopefully on Monday or Tuesday, will be a combination update of episode two and three. The following week on either Monday or Tuesday will be the combination episode of four and five. And then the following week will be the combination episode of six and seven. And I believe, let me pull up a calendar here. Calendar, where are you, Calendar? Damn it, Calendar, where are you? Okay, I don't have a calendar on my iPad apparently for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I will be doing weekly updates as opposed to episodic updates, um, just because things in my life got a little crazier than I initially anticipated this month. But I made a promise I'm doing these updates, so I will get them done. Uh, thank you guys oh so very much for watching another you know, drill. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, comment down below. Um, in this episode, specifically letting me know if I missed anybody. Again, sorry if I did. Uh, head on over to minecrafthardcoreachallenge.weebly.com to find out about the people competing, the challenge itself, and just anything about the challenge you want to know. Uh, head on over to gregc96.com, bigboxgamers.com, check out the rest of the guys in that group. Cool folks, and as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Scared, I close my eyes and see nothing is on the